guys, before we get into this episode of Minecraft School, don't forget to slap that like button if you guys are enjoying this series. Let's go for over 5,000 likes. I know we can do it, Lemonheads. And also comment down below, who do you ship? Aviator and Tessa or Aviator and Bree? Oh man, I'm so excited. Tonight's the night I get to go on my first ever date date with Tessa. Well, it's a it's an official date date. Oh, I'm a little bit nervous, but uh, I, I've done this before. I've had a girlfriend. I shouldn't be this nervous. I just gotta calm down and and face the music. It's a, it's a good song. It's good music. This is a good situation. It's nothing bad. Uh, but I do have another thing to deal with tonight. Bree. She said she's coming over here to talk with me. She said if I answer the door, she'll talk to me. If I don't, she'll go away. Well, let's hope she didn't lie about that because I'm not going to be home to answer the door. Me and Tessa's date is at a very fancy restaurant here in the city. I'm so excited. My mom gave me some money, so... <laughs> yeah, my mom's paying for my date. Hey, but I don't have a job. I'm a sophomore in high school. What else do you expect? Okay, let's get out of here before Bree shows up. I don't know what time she's coming, but school's over now and I know she could be here any second. So we just gotta avoid her as best as possible. Now, I've never been to this restaurant, but I've heard really good things about it, and I, I think it's this way, but I'm not 100% sure. I haven't really been down that way too much. Jerry lives down there, and I haven't seen any swanky restaurant, and I think it's near the movie theater, so I guess we'll just go this way. Wait, who's that? Who's that over there? Nick? I don't think I've ever met a Nick before. Huh, I wonder if he goes to school with me. Uh, oh. Hey, you're Aviator, right? Uh, yeah, I am. Uh, what's up? Oh, sorry, I didn't introduce myself. My name is Nick, and I go to school with you. I'm a freshman, and I'm for sure gonna vote for you for school president. Oh, uh, cool. Well, nice to meet you, Nick. So, what are you up to? Um, I'm actually on my way out. Uh, I'm going on a date. Oh, cool. A date? With who? Uh, I really need to get going. Sorry, man. Just love you, bro. I look up to you. <laughs> Why? <laughs> You're the best. Well, I'll let you go on your date. I'll see you around, Aviator. Uh, okay, uh, yeah. See you around, Nick. Huh. The Nick kid was kind of weird. Uh, he looks up to me. I, I never met him before, and I guess he knows me from school because I'm running for school president. I guess that kind of puts me in the public eye, and I guess presidents have admirers, so maybe he's just an admirer of, uh, I don't know, authority, and, and, and what is it, politics? Yeah, maybe he just admires my position of potential power. Oh, it's kind of weird, a kid that I've never met admires me and, and knows me so well when I know nothing about him. Eh, but whatever, I guess you're going to get your groupies as you rise to popularity. Even though I never really had one at Sunnyside, even though I was a basketball star, quote-unquote. I wouldn't call myself a star, I, you know, I, I was getting better at playing, but I was never great. Okay, so where's this restaurant? Oh, the hotel boss, yeah, that's that's the restaurant I think she was talking about. Okay, going through these doors means I'm going to be going into my date with Tessa. Oh, the nerves are high right now, but I can do this. I've dated a girl before. <sighs> okay, easy aviator. Don't make a fool of yourself. Let's do this. Okay, where is she? Wow, it's dead in here. Oh, there she is. Oh, God. It's all becoming real now. Uh, hey, Tessa. Hey, aviator. So, <laughs> this is uh, kind of awkward. Well, let's change that. I I'm down for that. <laughs> So we know everything about each other. So what do you want to talk about? Uh, how about we uh, talk about how uh, beautiful you are? Oh, <laughs> Aviator, you're so sweet. <laughs> so how about we order some food? Sounds good to me. Aviator, what are you doing here with Tessa? Uh, Bree, I, uh... Are you cheating on me? Uh, cheating on you? You cheated on me. We broke up days ago. But I want you back. I want a chance to explain what happened and why. Oh, I'm so sorry about this, Tessa. Uh, Bree, can you just leave us alone? It's okay. Oh, is it, Tessa? Is it okay? Actually, no. No, it's not okay. You need to leave. This is mine and Aviator's first date, and I don't appreciate you being here. You want to go? Fine, let's go. I'm not going to fight you. Come on, we can fight for Aviator. Winner gets to date him. Don't I get a say in all of this? Let's just move our date to your place, Aviator. Over my dead body. Bree, just go home. Leave us alone. But, Aviator, I love you. You heard him. Now leave. Please, Bree. But I... Let's get out of here, Tessa. So, I'm, I'm really sorry about that, Tessa. It's fine. I bet it's hard to get over you. You're a great guy. Oh god, you're gonna make me blush. Uh, I'll be right back, Tessa. I just gotta get some air really quick. Oh man. I just don't know. I don't know what to do. 
Bree showing up all crazy like on my date with Tessa kind of made me feel guilty. I don't know how I should feel. Should I be carefree and, and not care about my ex-girlfriend's feelings? Or should I hear her out? It's something I'm not sure about. It's something I'm definitely not going to talk to my mom about. Let me just get back in there. Uh, t Tessa. Oh my god.